So I, I really don't like best kept secrets in the pain management world. Uh, it seems to me that when things come out that everybody should just naturally know them. And back in July 2020, the International Association for the Study of Pain released for the first time in 41 years a new definition of pain. And it was with the intention of helping clinicians really broaden their ability to assess patients and also broaden their scope in terms of what they might be trying to achieve when they're treating someone for pain. I guess really to sort of recalibrate what the metrics of successful pain treatment might be. And uh, I read about it. I, my jaw dropped open. I thought this is going to change everything. And then I started to talk to people one month, two months, three months down the road, and nobody really had any idea that this even took place. And that frustrated me a little bit. And it also made me realize just how important it is for us to keep fighting the fight from an educational perspective. Uh, the, the, probably the sentinel event for all of this was uh, six months later, so January now of this year, 2021, I'm having a discussion with the head of a pain clinic in a very, very large academic center on the West Coast. And we were talking about something totally unrelated. But I had the presence of mind to say, how much is the new definition impacting the practice in your pain management clinic? And his response was, what new definition of pain? Uh, I didn't really even know about it. So if he didn't know about it, that meant that his other faculty didn't know about it. That meant that the fellows didn't know about it. That meant that the residents didn't know about it, and that meant that the medical students didn't know about it. And uh, not to mention the other faculty. And it just sort of made me shake my head a little bit. Uh, I've been sort of waiting for this to happen in a mainstream manner where we see something in the New England Journal of Medicine or maybe JAMA about this, uh, but that just hasn't happened yet. And uh, I'm making it my own little personal mission to let as many people know and to tell 10 people that each of them know uh, to really spread the word. So I can't take any credit for any of it. But uh, I think it's really, really important. And the likelihood is it's going to be another 41 years before pain is redefined. So I don't know that I have another 41 years <laughs> to go.